no structure. My answer to it is simple. A hundred million Nigerians that live under poverty will be the structure. The 35 million Nigerians who don't have youth, who don't know where the next meal will come from, will be the structure. The elderly, the our mothers, our fathers, the old ones that are dying or be all gratuity, pension will be the structure. The ASU, the lecturers who are being old, the students that are not in school will be the structure. We will create the structure and they will see what the structure is all about. The structure is about human beings. If that interests you, and go and check, it's on tape. I didn't make the tape. What a student senior former president, a, an alumni chairman president, made a tape. Anambra State University today is in section. They are not on strike. Reason is that in 2011 or so when they were in strike, they came to my office and said university is in strike. And I said, VC, acting VC, what is it? He said, because of A, B, C, D. I said, how much will I give you? And you'll be able to ensure that this school, not a, they stop the strike. He said to me, this is the amount. And I looked at him and said, I can't pay this amount. Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. You are being paid 45 million monthly now. Let me double it forthwith to support you. And as I say, I'm not saying no government fulfills everything. Nobody gets 100% effort globally, but we want 100% effort and sacrifice towards where we're going. We cannot keep our children at home for months now, and we're talking about 2023. That university, go and check. Go the highest ever given for infrastructure by any state university to date. In one year, I gave them five billion naira. Wow. So it's about the future. Yes, people can say anything about how I manage the resources. That was why I was able to keep 75 billion of Anambra state money when I was living. Because it's public money. It was not my money. I was money. It was money entrusted to me by the people. It's not my money. So nobody should have expected me to use it wrongly. And I've said it now, I've been out of office for the past nine years. And I have not bought me pure water. Pure water. No gratuity, no pension. Because at the time they entrusted me with their money, I managed it. And when I was leaving, like I told you, Chairman, I made 35 billion gratuity and pension outstanding. And I said to them, and I say it any day, it is crime to all old people. Yes, when they have less opportunity in their difficult time, we must stop that. So it's about future of Nigeria. It's about future of trying to ensure that our youth become productive. I've only one job, and I keep saying it, to move Nigeria from consumption to production. <laughs> So I thank you for being part of this, and I assure you, we'll be committed to it. It is about managing our resources efficiently for production. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you.